I wanted to ask if you'd share the story of the world tour with Sinatra. <clears throat> so the dates here, 59, Emil arrives. This tour was in 1962, yes. I believe. And you have a nice story about that uh, regarding how working with Frank and also how that, say, may is the beginning of your collection, collecting instruments of the world. So maybe you could tell us a bit about that, how that came about. Yeah. Um, Red Narva was a, a vibraphone player, really popular in the early 60s. And he was working with Frank Sinatra in Vegas. And wherever Frank would go, he started using a sextet. And Red was his vibraphone player. He, he got to really like the vibes Frank did and uh, used, it, used it extensively. So what happened was Red got hung up with the mob, kind of, in Vegas. And he had, he had gigs that he couldn't get out of. <laughs> <laughs> Even Frank couldn't get him out. <laughs> so, uh, lucky for me, I got the gigs. And uh, I just started to play with Frank quite a bit. And this was, I think, 1961-ish. Uh, President Kennedy was our guy. And he asked Frank to do a tour under the auspices of the State Department uh, for underprivileged children of the world and to try to found hospitals, if that's the right word. Uh, all over the world and, and under the auspices of the State Department and Frank said I'll do one better I got my own plane I'll pay for the tour you just have the ambassador in each country meet us so we don't have to go through the worry of uh, customs and all that stuff so Frank had this big plane, six musicians, and the belly, real empty, the belly of the plane. So I started collecting instruments. And I filled the belly of Frank's plane with instruments. <laughs> because uh, buying the instrument was one thing, but trying to get it home regularly would be as much, if not more, than what the instrument costs to get it home. So I, I lucked out and started collecting instruments. That was the beginning of my collecting instruments. So, and it was a great tour, really beautiful tour. 